predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. And I'm Sonalia. And this is your February 10th WBN broadcast. Next week, Ms. Murphy and Ms. Powell are running an event called Valentine's for Positive Friends with Sources of Strength. People can name the positive friends they have and their candy with a note will be delivered the following week. Plus, it's free. Hey, Sonalia, do you know what month it is? Of course I do. It's Black History Month. There was a presentation in the library on Monday in honor of it. Let's check it out. Here with Lydia Newroth, who is an archivist with the Library of Virginia. The project she's working on is Virginia Untold, and she can tell us a little bit about that. That would be awesome. Yeah. So Virginia Untold is a digital project from the Library of Virginia that digitizes records related to free and enslaved people from before the Civil War. So we take documents that have been on the shelves for years and put them in a database where it's searchable online. So she is an archivist, and what does your job entail as an archivist? Yeah, so I spend a lot of time doing lots of different things. One of the things I do, though, is I take documents and make them more accessible. So that means physically processing materials, taking things, typically court records or state papers, and putting them in boxes and folders so that researchers can find them better. So that's one part of it. But then we also digitize the information. We scan it and put it online. And then we make it keyword searchable. So we have a process of indexing so that it becomes searchable like a name or a location or a date. So you could type it into a database and find the information of your enslaved ancestor or another person that was enslaved that you're looking for um, from Virginia. And then what is the name of that database week so people can look that up and find it? Yeah, so that's the Virginia Untold database. Um, if you were to Google search Virginia Untold in the Library of Virginia, it would pull it right up. Um, so that's a great place to start. So lastly, what is the goal of today and what is the overall goal of Virginia Untold? Yeah, so I'll start with the overall goal. The overall goal is to make these documents and information about enslaved and free Black people more accessible. So putting them online is one of the ways that we do that. But then we have to share about it. So that was one of the reasons I'm here today is to let students and others know that this research is available, um, that, that the project exists, and connecting people ultimately with stories of the past. So we believe that learning more about yourself or about a shared history helps you to know more about who you are and where you came from. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. This weekend was so eventful. What did you do? I watched the Grammys and girl, they had some amazing outfits. Yeah, I agree. My favorite was definitely Lizzo's. I wonder how our warriors think we're the best. Coach Rod, and you need to write this outfit. What? Is that from the 101 Dalmatians? Oh, that's kind of fly though. I like the hat. I give it probably 8.7. <laughs> I'm here with Sakai, and what do you rate this outfit? Um, a three. Why? It's just, it looks like a garbage bag. Now that I really look at it, it looks like a garbage bag. <laughs> I'm here with Zanay, and what do you rate this outfit? I rate it a negative zero. Why? I don't like her bird feathers, and she, it just don't look good to me. I wouldn't wear it. It don't look good. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Peyton. Rate this outfit. Like a four. 
Why? It's like a bubble gum. Like something that you would chew. <laughs> Don't look good. Okay, so I'm here with Caleb and Rachel Topic. It's a, it's a good 7 out of 10. It kind of reminds me of a betta fish or something of the sort. Um, yeah. That's it. I'm here with Justin, and what do you rate this outfit? 7 out of 10. Why? I like the open chest look. It looks like he's been hitting the bench press lately. I like the tattoos coming out on the side, too. Um, it's a little colorful, but yeah. open chest. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Fleming and rate this outfit. Oh, uh, I would give it an eight. Why would you give it an eight? Uh, I like the black. You know, it makes you slim. Everything matches. The way you got black on your lips? Yes. Twins. Yeah. I'm here with Riley and Scott and Ray this Grammy outfit. 10 out of 10. We love Taylor. I don't like Taylor, but 10 out of 10 for Scott. Yeah. 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 My favorite day of spirit week is always pajama day. I like pajama day too, but I think the new theme Sunday best was different. Let's see how some of our Matokin showed their school spirit. So choir? Yeah, why? I heard that I had a big event earlier this week. Yep, our premiere was on Tuesday. Dang, I wish I was there to see it. Well, you're in luck. Austin, Jada, and as in we made a show choir premiere vlog. What were your thoughts on your show card premiere yesterday? Well, I thought it went really well. Um, it also doubles as our senior night, so it was kind of emotional. But I think overall we performed well, and I'm in both groups this year, so I was really tired afterwards. But it was a good night, and a lot of good feelings all around. <laughs> Naya, what is your most unpopular opinion? Um, I don't really like Beyonce, like, at all. Wow, I think that just might be the most unpopular opinion ever. No one else would think that. Well, 
Let's see if our fellow warriors agree in the next video. Croutons are nasty. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are bad. Peanut butter and ramen is amazing. Zac Efron is overrated. Side eye. Cheers is poor. Uh, birds are spy drones for the government. Pineapple on pizza is good. I think skunks smell like coffee. Oh, baby, no. Nah. Strawberries and cream cheese with uh, mozzarella. What did she say? Pickles and whipped cream are good. Wait, Layla, you never told me if you had a Valentine. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. What are you getting them? Um, I'm thinking socks. I kind of need help. Well, the Warriors on shop may have some good ideas for you. Let's see some items they may have for you or your loved one. Happy Valentine's Day! So today we're going to take y'all into the Dollar Tree and show you how easy and quick it is to and cheap to buy your special someone a gift for Valentine's Day. Okay, so what is our game plan going in shopping? I think we need to start off with a cute little basket and get something to put in the bottom to like, so you don't have to buy as much. I agree. It looks fancier. Mm -hmm. uh, how about candy, of course? Mm -hmm. No brainer. Maybe a card. Mm -hmm. Definitely a rose. I feel like when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of roses. Red. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Red. And maybe like a cute stuffed animal. Mm -hmm. yes. A soft one. Yeah. Yeah. We're here at the local Dollar Tree, and I'm, I'm here to show you how to make a Valentine's gift for under twenty dollars. And first, you have to start with the card. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so you need a base layer for your basket, so then you don't have to fill it up all the way. So you always need to get some flowers to do a bouquet, and then. They have pink ones. Yeah. Okay. You gotta add the stuffed animals. Last but certainly not least, you gotta add some candy, some kisses, some truffles, peanut butter clusters. Oh my. Beware of my peanut allergies. <laughs> okay. If you're not looking to buy a present, you can always go straight to their stomach and get something to eat. Bring them out to dinner, you know, show them off a little, go somewhere nice, or even cook at home. That'd be crazy. Some guys can't do that. And for girls, you can take them to get their nails done or get them a massage. Mm -hmm. Guys, this holiday is not for you. Sorry. It's just not. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sorry. Hey, did you go to any of the games this week? The boys play Petersburg and the girls play Hopewell. Whoa, those are really tough teams, but I didn't get a chance to. What about our other sports? I'm not sure. Maybe Monte, Chris, and Connor can update us. Welcome back to another sports update. As always, I'm Connor, and today we're going to be looking at how our winter sports teams are doing and be looking into the future to see how our spring sports teams will perform. Men's basketball has gone 2-2 two and two in their last four games. Their last game, they won against Prince George 76-41. to Their next game is against Petersburg on February 7th at home. Girls basketball has won their last three games and they will look at, be looking to continue that streak as they take on Petersburg on February 7th. All right, I'm here with White and Baby York. And how would y'all say uh, the basketball season has gone so far? I think the season going good. We got a great team and we just, we win it too. We win a lot of good things. Just, you gotta continue to execute. So I'm here with Connor and Pierce. Uh, what sports do you guys play? Baseball. Baseball. So what are your preseason predictions? 
Um, I think we have some potential, some young guys, and um, uh, if the season goes right, we can have a really good one. Uh, we had a bunch of like, young guys last year. We were able to get some experience, so I think we have a really good shot at going deep this year. I'm here with Luke Hudson. And how do you think the soccer season is going to go this year? Um, so last year we went below 500, but this year I think we're definitely going to go above 500. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'm here with Taylor. Dylan. And how do y'all think the lacrosse season is going to go? 10 now. Thank you for tuning in to WBN. You can stay connected with us on Instagram and TikTok at Matoka WBN. And you can watch all of our videos on the Warrior Broadcast News YouTube channel. Have fun at the pep rallies today. And remember, it's, it's always a great day to be a warrior.